Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss simple present tense. Before we move on, if you have not yet subscribed my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Okay! First of all we will take a look at the uses of simple present tense. We use simple present tense to describe habits and routines, to describe general truths and facts, to describe scheduled events, to describe instructions and directions, and so on. We will discuss them one by one. First of all, habits and routines. We use simple present tense to describe actions that happen regularly or habits. For example, she goes to the gym every morning. It means that she has a habit or routine of going to the gym regularly, specifically every morning. So, this sentence describes a habit, a routine. Therefore, we use simple present tense. It simply states a recurring activity that happens as part of her routine. They eat dinner at 7 p.m. In here also it means that they have a regular habit of having dinner at 7 p.m. This describes a recurring action that happens as part of their routine. It simply states that they typically have their dinner at 7 p.m. Likewise, we can use simple present tense to describe our habits and routines that occur regularly. Next, for general truths and facts. We can use simple present tense to express truths that are generally true and not limited to a specific time. For example, water boils at 100 degrees of Celsius. This statement is in simple present tense because it is stating a general truth or a scientific fact about the properties of water. Simply it states that under standard atmosphere pressure, water consistently reaches its boiling point at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. The sun rises from the east, in here also it expresses a general truth or fact about the natural world. This sentence states a universal and unchanging truth about the sun's movement relative to the earth and its consistent direction of rising. Likewise, we can use simple present tense to express general, universal truths and scientific facts. Next, for scheduled events. The simple present tense can be used to talk about events that are part of a fixed schedule or timetable. For example, the train departs at 9 a.m. I have used simple present tense here because it indicates a scheduled event that occurs regularly as part of a fixed timetable. Specifically, it means that the train consistently leaves or starts its journey at the time of 9 a.m. The concert starts at 7.30 p.m. In here also, it indicates a scheduled event that happens regularly as part of a fixed timetable. Specifically, it means that the concert consistently begins at 7.30 p.m. It states a general fact about the concert's schedule. Likewise, we can use simple present tense to talk about scheduled events, a plain action that occurs regularly as part of a fixed timetable. Next, to give instructions and directions. We can use simple present tense to give instructions, directions, and guidelines. For example, first, you mix the ingredients. 
Here, you are instructed to mix the ingredients as the first step. So, as it gives instructions to do a particular process, we use simple present tense. To get the museum, you turn left and then go straight. Here, it provides directions or instructions for reaching a destination. In this case, it means that, in order to reach the museum, you are advised to turn left as the first step, and then continue by moving straight ahead. Likewise, the simple present tense can be used to give instructions, directions, or guidelines. In addition to these uses, we can use simple present tense in literature and storytelling and expressions of time, etc. So, this is the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Remember, simple present tense makes English easy. So, see you soon from next video. Stay safe and happy. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.